I wish I could shoot lasers out of my double hands. The constant Kamehameha fingers. Yeah. Yay! Anyway, uh, welcome back to Bayonetta 3. Welcome back, to an, <laughs> welcome back to an arse shot for Ready Players. Well, that's just Bayonetta in a nutshell. That's true. Sort it's of. As horny as Final Fantasy X. Is 10 horny? Fi 10's quite horny. There's a lot of arse shots in that game. And there's a lot of people who are wearing arseless chaps. Which one's 10? 10's the one with Titus. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Smashing. Oh, you fool. Huh. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that your witch time doesn't have the timer in the middle anymore. No. Like, I never really paid it much attention, because when you're fucking playing this game, you can barely look at it. But it is True. weird that it's not there. <gasps> Friend is back. I like I, them. I mean, it would help in some cases where there's just that witch time that lasts for a fifth of a second. Yeah, when you do a shit witch time. Yeah, which unfortunately is all a particular character keeps happening for me, because yeah. I keep doing it badly. Maybe we'll buy the moon of Malankala or whatever it is. Does that help? Um, yeah, because it gives you a different sort of block. Oh, do you just... I think it gives you sort of a revengeance-style block. I haven't used it. Uh. I've just heard that it's very useful for her. Uh, okay. I don't know, I'll give it- I've got the- I've got enough fucking money for it, because honestly, for the most of the game, I haven't had to use items until that particular character shows up, yeah. so. Did you, did you notice Naive Angel Mode uh, covers his uh, cigar in uh, rock candy? I did, yes. Which is apparently how you make it <laughs> tame. I mean, it's better than the One Piece one where they just make it a lollipop. It uh, just makes it a big, thick lollipop. Oh no. Make it a Dagwood dog. I don't know, a, a spring roll, perhaps? <laughs> Just sucking on a spring roll. <laughs> this is a cool mechanic. Oh, that reminds me, for dinner, Achoo, for dinner this week, uh, we got Achoo. to a point of I don't give a fuck and we ate an entire box of frozen spring rolls. Fuck yeah. Sometimes you just need that. Well, because we only had like, we had vegan chili and we only had like maybe two or three spoonfuls worth. So I was like, uh, let's just pad this out with some spring rolls and then we just ended up eating the whole box. Also, it's been a week for me, so I feel like that was appropriate. Fair enough. If it ain't demon kinks. Oh no. The ancient art of demon slaying. I fucking... <laughs> yeah, he's sitting there like, this ancient and powerful art, and she's meanwhile just fucking busting down with the craziest. <laughs> and now you get to fucking kaiju fight in the middle of your fighting and it's the best fucking decision in this game. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's so fun. It's very fun. Uh-huh. Just like mixing it into combos and stuff. I mean, it's very fun. I, I do like the idea that what is it? Were you there when they were? Oh, no, no, you weren't. Um, I was I thinking I haven't seen you in like weeks. That's true. Why? Do, do I not normie. excite you anymore? You don't talk to me. Why? Uh, what were you saying? Oh, uh, I can't remember if we've shown you Hell's a Poppin' or like no. that dance scene from Hell's a Poppin'. No. Oh no, it's Tummy Guys! Ew. I think my... Get... Just her crumping while he's like the ancient art. Yes. <laughs> uh, when you realise that you can trigger that demon mode, get them doing an attack and then get back to your own shit while they're in their own animations. Oh yeah, well you, you can, can just, just like it up and stuff. set it up, that's that, fine. Um, is like some ad I want to say advanced but it's clearly not it's no. just like it's how it works it feels advanced to me in my feeble uh, I'm not very good at action games brain it makes you feel like you're doing some advanced tech shit I see you got hit while talking about advanced tech yeah you so know talented. baby oh you are close to dead am I? I'm halfway yeah that's close to dead in my mind <laughs> I noticed on your main ah, character you've got, you've got the exact same two fucking items that I've got that make uh, demons easier to use. Yes, all because the time. demons are fun, and I don't have to fuck around <laughs> and find out. Yeah, oh, look, there was one time where I got fucked over by the mechanic of they got pissed off I'm during a boss sorry. fight. <laughs> I must have bought it the upgrade before then, or I'm just too cool. Um, I just kept getting my demons killed. Oh. I kept getting sliced in half. 
No, I just got one pissed off so much that it just started attacking me. I was like, great, I'm fighting a boss and this now. Yeah! Love it. Well, it was also, and it was also the big tall lady. So it was even more annoying. Oh no. You pissed off Madama Butterfly? I pissed off Madama Butterfly and then she just started <laughs> kicking me. Yeah, I think you deserved it. It's All like, right. step on me, mistress. <laughs> oh no. No spoilers, but the um the the end boss for the, the China level is fucking ridiculous and I love it. Oh god, I remember that. Was that. So weird. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It was great. Just sitting there the whole time was like, what the fuck? I mean this is fun. Yeah, all of those end level well like end scenario bosses were actually really enjoyable and none of them were fucking normal i think you were gonna love the paris one or hate it fair enough um i i didn't enjoy oh no that's not fair I, it's not that i didn't enjoy it it was the what comes after china um paris no there's something in between is oh, uh, oh egypt, egypt. Sort of. the desert the desert level which you've seen in the trailer, it's not a Actually, fucking no, yeah, spoiler. Actually, they Egypt, never mind. They, they specifically say, like, Cairo and stuff. Yeah, um, her, the fucking boss fight, you, the end scenario boss fight you do for that was, like, a little confusing? I accidentally figured it out, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got, like, there was a point where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, and then I realised that you could do one the thing with the boss, so it was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No, I, I, I figured that you could do the the thing before you needed to do it. So when it was required, I was like, oh, okay. But anyway, it yeah. was... I was fortunate. Oh man, another million people. <laughs> Yay! Uh, what was she doing on the other side of that? <laughs> Just getting ready. It's like, all right, lipstick. This is going to look sick as fuck. Actually, yeah, probably. Let's be honest. <laughs> she wanted to look great for her reveal. <laughs> Just gives her the finger. <laughs> it goes yeah. fast. Uh, I like Sean's <laughs> outfit in this game. Finally. She looks like oh, a spy from the seventies. It's <gasps> that um spy game that I can never remember the name of. Uh, no one lives forever. Yes, that's probably it. And it's got a very like seventies eighties. Yes. Color. Yeah. No, I got yeah. one. I think that is no one lives forever. I think so. As opposed to the old world ends with you. Does her have a fucking did her fucking license plate say you cutie? Probably. Yay! Oh yeah, and then the Kraken out of nowhere. The Kraken the door. Kraken. Let's go. I've still uh, got my weird little bobbly things. A demon? What the fuck? That's a fair question. They are the only two de uh, witches in this dimension. I, that's weird that I can say dimension because we know there's dimension hopping fucking nonsense. Eee. You fool! I fucked up! Fuck! God, this is so much harder without all my without all my fucky spin kicks and shit. Well, you would have fought it like this originally, though. No, so yeah, but I'm so. It shouldldn't be hard. Call of my world Whoa. is like my main, one of my main weapons that I use. Ah, oh, so you're a bitch. So I'm. No. no I'm <laughs> it's just that I leveled it up first, so I was like, well, it's uh, the one that's leveled up, so I might as well just keep using it. Fair. I, um, it's kind of the same with that and the fucking spider thing. It's like, I leveled these up all the way first, and they're fun, so I don't know why I would. I really should max out the levels of at least one of those. It's good, like, the spider one gets a really fun, um, gets a really fun thing with your demon form. Hmm. Like, I, I don't know, I just never got around to it. Yeah, it's fair. I'm weird. Uh, my favourite weapon by far, um, is the bat weapon, which I will not spoil. Okay. Um, it is... I think I know what it is, but yes, fair. So fun. It's so ridiculous. Um... Just for... Just off mic. Punchies? Oh no, well, you, no, if, if I... Yeah, you've already seen those, that's the clock tower weapons. Oh, it's a different one? Oh, okay. Well yeah, the Bat and the Umbran Clock Tower are two different demons. No, I've seen another one! I wasn't sure if it was a secret weapon or it was that one! Fists? Ah, uh, it's probably a demon weapon then. Like a sec- it's a secret super cool demon weapon. I don't know which one you're talking about. Oh, that's alright. Because oh. you've got the two, like, shield arms. Yeah. Slash Gatling gun. 
I don't know which ones you're talking about. That's okay. Now I have to look up Bayonetta 3 weapons. Oh, dang. Am I just missing them? Why you hold your phone away from me so I don't see? Well, I'm keeping away from the mic in case it does that weird mic thing. Oh, yeah. Which I don't think happens anymore. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know the ones you're talking about. Yeah. Yum, yum. Sorry, I actually forgot about those because I didn't... I finished the game at, like, midnight. Oh. <laughs> on, I don't know, the middle of the week. So I haven't gone back and played it yet. No, yeah, fair. Whoop. Oh, it's, um... What's the, the name of that squiddy thing from uh, Sunshine? Splatoon? No, from Mario Sunshine. Uh, Inky. Inky, the Pokemon. What's the new Pokemon that I love? I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, no, I was showing, like, people... Where Coco. No, <laughs> that as well. No, um, the new pop, all the new Pokemon designs are weird little guys, and I love all the weird little guys. Yes. <laughs> like fucking um, Electode, or whatever his name is, the one ah, with the big right. tummy. Yeah, he is a weirdo. It was like, oh, I love this weird guy. <laughs> that one, and then like, I'm definitely not getting Grafire Fire, whatever the fuck that one name is. The one that just has like, Ill slicky fingers. Ah, uh, the, um, yeah, the Graffiti Eye Eye. Yeah, it's like, I'm good, I it's don't like, want you. You just look gross. The design, the 2D art for it looks okay. It's 3D model is fucked up. It's pretty fucked. <laughs> I don't fucked. love it. No. Ugh. I mean, I'll still get, you know, um, what the fuck is it? I... <laughs> Le Chonk. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm torn as to whether I even want to bother getting the game. I haven't finished a Pokemon game in years. I just get bored. Fair enough. I mean, um, Arceus was great, so that's kind of why I'm there for hmm? it. The people that I sort of go to for opinions on those sorts of games didn't seem to enjoy it. Yeah. But that's why I don't go to you, because you enjoy JRPGs in a different way to me. <laughs> I was about to say, if he says you enjoy trash, I'll be offended, but it's not incorrect. Well, that too, but no, I'm speaking more about just JRPGs in general. That's uh, true. You are more amenable to uh, grind and them being boring, whereas my uh, feeble... Uh, idiot ADHD riddled brain refuses to accept grind. The only Fair. exception apparently being Persona 5, and that's just because I've got it down to a fine art. Yeah, but that's because the grinding point. in that game's a little easy to work with. Yeah, that and probably helps. Also, the music's banging. Also, the grind set, really the grind section of that game is like fine. Mm. Like, the dedicated grind area if you're not including that levels. Helps, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's it's probably one of the few times where I'm okay with it. I did it a little bit in Xenoblade 3, and also didn't mind it too much, but it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Madama Butterfly! Look at it go! Whee. Swim! I do like the idea of just Bayonetta doing an underwater dance, but it's just very slow. Oh no. <laughs> just trying to crump. No! I was dancing! <laughs> you fool. Me, dummy. John, I saved you from Vor. Again. Again. Good lord, John, you really need to get better at this. Oh dear. For some reason this makes me want to play 2 again. Oh, the entire time I've been playing this, I'm like, I want to fucking play 2. But not because I didn't dislike, didn't like this game, it's just because like, I enjoyed Bayonetta so much, and I want to go play more of it, but I want to, I guess, not repeat levels. That's fair. I think 2 was one that, also because 2 is like, it was on a, unfortunately it was on the Wii U, so it's a lot harder to go back to and think about. Mm. I legitimately actually had to remember who was the final boss in 2. How do you forget that boss? It's so weird. Oh, I know, but I mean like, what was the deal with that again? Oh. And then I remembered it was like, oh, that actually does, that is actually kind of sick. It's a, it's a weird situation. Yeah, but uh, I already checked the Switch price, it's like 60 bucks. <laughs> And I'll probably get it. I that's the thing, is like it's kinda of like, well, Band of the Three's coming out, I'll wait until I've played that. And plus also fucking Ragnar Uh Thor oh, yeah. Thor? Fucking God of War Ragnarok and Sonic Frontiers comes out next week. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm damn it! <laughs> getting neither. How dare you. No way am I paying money for a Sonic game until I know it's either um <laughs> well, I'm only going to pick it up if it's actually worth playing. Because if it's just worth watching and laughing at, then, you know, I'll just fucking watch someone play it. I'll watch you play it and okay. flail. Okay. 
Um, the problem is I want to get it on the Xbox three. I want to get it on the Xbox, and it's a digital Xbox. And I looked at the digital price; it's like a hundred bucks. What really? Yeah. Why? Because the Xbox store is a fucking asshole when it comes to digital only. That's so strange. And they're not doing it in Game Pass. I don't believe so. No. That's a shame. Cause... I'm gonna. I when it comes to that, when it comes to Sonic Frontiers, or when it comes to new games that come out on the Xbox, I always do wait like until a couple of days after release to buy it because of game pass yeah like it depends on the game they haven't put i don't think i've bought an xbox i i have no games in my uh windows slash xbox library that i have bought they're all just fucking game pass unfortunately they didn't (sighs) get me with that a couple of times with the admittedly the mass effect trilogy like the com- the well, Shepard edition. You've got an Xbox, so that's fair enough. I- I'm just yeah. using Game Pass on the PC. Oh, fair enough. But um, oh, that and fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, you fool! <clears throat> oh, thank goodness his screen has cracked so much we can't see his wife and child. It's convenient. <laughs> he tried to go outside, but I knocked some sense into him. <laughs> After all, he still hasn't paid that tab. You what can do you say have you want to him alive? Yeah, I know. But also, it's like, what have you done to owe the devil that much money? <laughs> Drink a ton, apparently. You mean those weren't your playmates? Not my type. God, even Rodan has a fucking comfy outfit. Yeah. Things ain't for Paradiso or Inferno. He's just changed to I'm wearing a big sweater now. Fuck yeah. you. I like being comfortable. Human? They're homunculi. Man-made bioweapons. Is that the truth or homunculi? Uh, <sighs> tell us who you are first, Miss. Viola. Oh, I love you so much. She's trying so hard to be cool. Mood. Never mind. Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history. And reality as we know it gets wiped out for good. Like a little dangly cat. Yeah. Them right to us. Mm? No! They're like locusts spreading through the multiverse, destroying it as they go. Just trust me, damn it. I like how quickly uh, this game just says, Multiverse, deal with it. You're already dealing with heaven and hell dimensions and purgatory. I mean, it all. <laughs> also that, but it is very funny that basically. I kind of thought about it. It was like, man, fucking the end of the Spider Verse made it very easy for people to just accept multiverse stuff. Yeah. I mean, Bane, I wouldn't have cared anyway. It's no. Like, fucking deal with it. More me's? More me's to kiss. Oh no. You know that Bayonetta has at least throughout this game, because you've played it, she's at least thought about giving one of them a little bit of the smooch. As a treat. As a treat. Maybe the Tokyo one is like, I've never smooched a weeb before. <laughs> Normally I'd say they're gross and horrendous. But, but it's this me. <laughs> Maybe in this universe they're not gross and horrendous. Yay! <laughs> Why has he got Magic the Gathering booster packs in his thing? I thought they were the cards from the second game. I just thought it was a reference to that. I mean, it is, most likely, but you also do get them from his shop. Yeah. And his handy dandy Bayonetta collectibles. Yeah. Well, because he's got to sell shit to Bayonetta. Like, do you want a figurine of Jean? Why? I don't know. Obviously, yes. Do you want to look at Jean a lot? I mean, always. God, that fucking tattooed moustache looks so dumb.
Remember when the games were just about heaven and hell fighting? Yep. I the first game only. Yep. Because the second one was like, <laughs> what if <laughs> shit got even more fucking weird? Thank you, Professor. That is a terrifyingly glowing drink. You should not drink that. You're going to die. Wow, that tastes terrible. You basically just mix like seven different alcohols. <laughs> yeah, it was probably a demon alcohol. It's like if I went up, I was like, don't worry, I've got a drink. Gin, Kahlua, oh, God. <laughs> absinthe, uh, fucking Bailey's Irish cream, <laughs> vodka. I call it the worst cement mixer of all time. Ugh. I love these MacGuffins, they're so silly looking. A chaos Emerald? I'm kind of, I love you so much. Cheshire. Yeah. It's very silly. I love- <laughs> Just the entire cutscene, everyone's ignoring this weird little guy. Well, since solitaire in a literal man cave isn't exactly riveting, I suppose I'll be- I stole these from my friend from two. That will help restore some sanity, right? We'll have a bit of girl talk along the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, this version uh, of Bayonetta is kind of weird. <laughs> Slap. The fuck is this? Yeah. The fuck is this cool guy? What a good egg. Oh, uh, the one reason I like playing as Viola is purely because Chesh is here. <laughs> Cheshire is a good egg. This is just a good dude. This weird bear cat thing. Damn it, Cheshire! You know you're not supposed to pop out like that! Cheshire. Oh, Viola. Man, trying so hard to be cool. But. <laughs> Getting there a couple of times, and then every time she actually tries to be cool, it just yeah. fucks up. We ain't doing plain shit this time. We're being a weird bear. Cat? Bear cat. Cheshire, the Cheshire cat. He's got the giant glowing yeah. mouth and everything. I, look, I read, I read the description for Cheshire and they do say he's a bear and a cat. Alright. I read the lore, Jack. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know. I got curious oh, about the demons, no. about the weapons and the demon descriptions, and then oh, I read yeah, it. And it was like, oh, wow. I also did read the law for. <laughs> I forgot about. I read the law for Bayonetta and John again, and it was like, oh, her career in the normal world is just a nun. Still? Still. Oh, dear. And then I'm just oh, thinking. I guess like, she has to. Yeah, I know, but I'm still looking. It's like. Looking at her comfy outfit from this, I was like, I would not believe you're a nun. <laughs> and then John is like, I'm a teacher, and I also moonlight as a superhero called Cutie Q. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm only learning about Cutie Q now? <laughs> I only learned about them when the ability popped up in the fucking John mission. <laughs> And she did a fucking Sentai transformation. She did a beautiful Joe TF. I was like, oh, okay, what? <laughs> I just picked up a fucking Power Star. It also took up way too- it also took a long time to do. Oh, it was great. Well, you have to say the whole line. Him? Let's land fast. It's not safe. Who is him? <laughs> Jesus. Another Cheshire? I smell a loser. A hot loser. A hot, weird loser nearby. Look at these lads. So they laser lads. Oh. I mean, the more I look at these guys, the more I do think they would belong in like a tabletop strategy game. Yeah, I guess. I just, I don't know. They're fine. You've pissed off Shetje. Eat shit, bitches. Good egg. <gasps> now I'll show you. Whee! I'll do it. 
please. And then you can step on me. No. Nope. No. <laughs> I mean, I also do like when Viola hangs around <laughs> Bayonetta. We made the joke in the last episode, but it does really look... It does kind of have that vibe of, like, the queer who knows more versus the experienced queer versus the inexperienced queer. Yeah. I was like, I know what I'm doing! Do you? <laughs> You're trying, sure. I see you've decided to miss. I'm joking. Are you... <laughs> hey! I'm a pro gamer. It says so on my t-shirt. <laughs> it says so on my cap that I got from playing Sonic Forces. <laughs> yes, I forgot about the Sonic Forces cap. I've been watching watching a playthrough of it recently, and oh boy, that was a that was a weird fucking game. I'm almost disappointed the writers who wanted to kill and torture Sonic didn't get didn't to get the opportunity. And tortured. I know. They're just like, hey, it's me. I'm just normal. It's like, what? Oh, I'm so disappointed that he didn't go like fucking. You didn't see grizzled beard, <laughs> I'm Sonic. Gonna kill Baron Brass. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is. Sonic with a goatee. <laughs> oh no. Long hair and long spines and a goatee. Oh, I hate it, but oh, I don't I know. Part that. of me would have kind of loved it. I love this concept. Continue, Sonic. Oh, you can break those. Yeah. Why? I thought they give you orbs, it turns out no, but I just got to the point, I just got into the habit of doing it, so I'll just uh, do it now. I spent a long time punching these, those little flower piles. Oh. Not realising you just had to run through them. Thankfully only in this starter area. I don't know why I'm embarrassing. doing- I don't know why I'm doing this, we're not gonna play this long. True, you're just wasting everyone's valuable time. That they're wasting watching this. Yeah. Oh, thank God, I'm not high. There are other worlds in the multiverse. I bet the people who built this place used to watch over different worlds the same way. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. It's about time I got open world, Bayonetta! Well, barely. Slightly more open than it ever has been before. Sonic Forces open world, Bayonetta. Oh, no. Man. What's this? I am still morbidly curious to find out what the hell this whole open zone shit is, and if it really is just near. I mean, I did get that vibe during the trailer where they showed Viola, like, in the desert. It was like, oh no, is this open? <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't. Alright, this game does not need open world stuff. Like, this amount is fine. Just some shit to sort of run around on. Yeah. Collect some extra loot. I will say, actually, one thing I'm just thinking about differences secrets. is that I appreciate that the items, that using items isn't counted against your score anymore. Isn't it? No, items don't count. Oh. Which is fucking good, because I fucking hated that. I thought it did. Apparently not. Oh. I haven't seen I haven't seen an item penalty pop up. Huh. Right. And I would know, because I've been playing the Viola sections, and they keep using those guns like it's, like it's fucking... I was about to say, like, they're candy, and then I realized they're candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> popping, popping, uh, lo healthy lollipops like they're M and M's, I guess. Hmm. Rings. It's just like Sonic. Um. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Well, in hindsight, <laughs> that would have... Uh, I guess it only would have been useful a couple of times, but still. Yeah, well also that's death doesn't count towards... Um, Wait, really? No! Well, that's weird. Give me... There, infinite. I want infinite! Just look around you and tell me what you really see! Oh. Man, I'm really fucking that guy up, I think. I like his uh, grab and bite ability. The munch. I do like that since you can fight angels and demons in like some optional side missions, 
Yeah. Uh, you get to see her still do the same... The little smooch? Well, uh, yeah, the smooch or the, the bullets. Yeah, the bullet one's fucking sick. That's uh, some classic... Classic referencing that doesn't cause any strife. No. <laughs> also, actually, I love that Viola has her own version of those as well. Yeah. Like, she gets a little smooch. She was like, yeah, she oh, that's cool. A fucking dart. Full of surprises, hasn't it? This looks like a Stargate. A multiverse portal generator? Bayonetta, wait. It might be a bad idea to mess with that. <laughs> it might be a bad idea to mess with that. Woo! Here you go. Too late for regrets now, I'm afraid. Hee <laughs> hee. Separate vacations for now, then. Good luck. <laughs> oh, thank God, the child is gone. Action two. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now we got Lady. <sighs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> that was a noise. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Quick, summon the lady. Do some punchies. Okay. Kick! I like her weird, like, flutter kiss ability. I, I also like that upgrade you can get for her where she puts, like, explosive butterflies around herself. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, which makes for some weird shenanigans. Many slappies. I gave you a little smooch to death. We did it! Oh, such, such devastation! The thighs! I'll stop saying that, only Platinum. fucking um, FF14 people will know what I'm talking about. Yes, even I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you've done that bit. Wait. Have I? Have you gotten to Heaven's Ward? No. Oh, never mind. Ugh. I'm still an OG shit because I haven't had time to play- I haven't had time to play video games! Those kinds of video games. Uh, we need to stop recording though, so I guess we'll we just do. get to the end of this and show the next area. Yeah. And then people can be like, oh man, I want to see more of this nonsense. I want to see more sexy ladies. And sexy men. And sexy... is there sexy And men? demons. Oh yeah, that's there's true. There's Rodan. And Enzo, if you're into... <laughs> Rich Evans from Red Letter Media. Man ponytail thing. Um, trying to think of other men. Oh, Luca. I forgot about Luca. Sorry, Luca. <laughs> what about Luca? <laughs> He's got a rugged charm. He has a rugged... Uh, I like his old design more than the one here. It's like, yeah. what's this weird homeless Indiana Jones vibe you've got going on? Yeah, I, I, I stand by me saying I think I like the designs from two the most. But I don't hate the designs from one. Anyway, yeah, we're in a mysterious fucking... Uh, definitely not just straight up Japan. <laughs> in not Japan... Next to the 417 building. That, um, police dog that shows up. Is that a real thing, or is that just them referencing the police dog from that, um, sci-fi? Oh, that's definitely from Astral Chain. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I saw that, I was like, <gasps> Astral Chain! I didn't care for that game very much. I should try it sometime. Uh, I- Oh, the friend is back. I should give it another go, because I actually didn't realize until- because I don't think the game actually telegraphs this. Um, mm. You can level up your demons and stuff, but I never did until, like, the final area, so it was just very hard. Oh. I was like, oh, so that's the problem. Uh-oh. Oh, so right. it's, the, it's the game that made me get a controller, because that game is, like, needs- Buttons? Buttons. Avocado! Anyway, uh, yeah, Bayonetta's happening. Um, we're gonna leave it here, though. Uh, I love this bit, though. <laughs> it's so yeah, right. um, we'll, we'll leave you while we do a fun slide section. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. Trains.